Now we are in Lucia in Spain with Mostrada's Univers, which is basically universe in Spanish. Um, the way that he described it is like the entrance to the universe. I don't know if he means like natural universe or what, but um, it is stunning. Um, it's a fan of more expensive side, but you will see why when you try it. Um, it's all Palomino grape, I believe, you know, um, which is very common from that region. We're up to Prado total cluster, so that's going to mean that it has a little bit more depth to it because it'll actually have had um, some skin contact, some contact with the uh, the things that they're together. together. Yeah, so that should make it a little bit more complex. Um, and yeah, it was also on the lease, so those are a few notes of what we can expect time for it. On the notes, oh, it's lovely. It smells like a sea breeze where, like, if you had, so you have, like, a little picnic of fresh cut, like, peaches and different fruits, and then, like, it's maybe, like, honeysuckle flowers are getting, like, swept up into your nose along with the breeze. Too bad it smells like it's a little bit like the ocean. Um, it's a little bit, but how does like um notes of baking guys do maybe like oregano? I think I've done honey some already, but there's definitely like some floral aspects to it. It just smells amazing. <laughs> it's very complex and stunning to try it. Mm. Oh. Uh, not only is it amazing, but it has this great mouthfeel, probably from that um, leaf contact of nice and brown, but the acidity is super high. Um, and that tailing aspect is still there, but it feels less harsh than like it seems like. I don't know, maybe less harsh than like notion berries. It just sounds like now it feels like and fruity, but still, maybe that's come forward more in the salines, more at the back. Uh, salt or whatever you want to call it. Now it's like, you know, pears and peaches, and um, still a few like floral notes, but again, fast towards the end, it tastes like nice. It tastes like the actual picnic, maybe when you eat it versus when you're smelling it. It's how it looks like. Um, so this one is really cool for, I think, um, I don't want to say I mean, like tapas would be great, um, but I mean like when I'm talking about tapas, I mean more like the cheaper, like the enchego and the ham that's on it, as well as like the olives, like that just seems perfect with this. Um, you can pour it through like branzino, like whole branzino on like the, um, uh, what's it called, on the grill, that would all be amazing too. Stuff specific quality food, like I always find like olives, olives always go fine, but I feel like they're a weird texture. <laughs> I don't have to know them much. But this is what I would think I would like to do. So, hope you enjoy.